Jonathan Chester from Bitwage here to give a tutorial on how to use Bitwage invoicing, which is our most popular product. Uh, just before getting into it, the way invoicing works is that you sign up, we provide you with a bank account that is local to either the US, EU, or the UK to receive wages into this account and have it dispersed however you like, and you could be based anywhere in the world. So, let's begin. I'm going to start after you've signed up and logged in, you're going to come to this page. And in order to get set up, you basically need to do two things. You need to set your distribution, which is where we send you the funds, and then you got to get the bank details for you to receive funds from your client or your employer. So I'm going to set up the distribution and click choose distribution right here. And what you're going to notice is uh, right now I've got no distribution set up. Uh, and uh, it says click to edit percentage because you can, can have up to three distributions, two for regular users and three for premium. I'm going to add a distribution by clicking on this button on the top right, add distribution. And boom, we see three different types of distributions, digital currency, bank transfer, and savings and card, which is essentially a savings account and debit card hosted by partners of ours. I'm going to go with bank transfer. And you can go and choose your country. There's plenty of countries right here. There's a there's several other countries below the screen that you can't really see right now, but I'm going to go with Brazil. Here, we've got Brazil. Make sure to check out the fine print right here because there's a, a lot of information uh, depending on the corridor that you're, you're getting paid in and it's important to know the corridor specific info. But now I'm gonna go and link my bank account. So it says, please link a Brazil bank account. Click profile and accounts, go to link bank accounts, and voila, you see this, you can go to link bank account. Click it, you're gonna go and link a Brazilian bank account. Yeah, since this is a test account, I'm just going to put in random numbers, but these are all the different banks that you can choose from. I'm just gonna pick a random one, put in some numbers, uh, obviously put in my name there. And three, two, one, voila. Now we have a linked bank account. But just because I have a linked bank account doesn't mean that this is the bank account that's connected to my distribution. So I need to go back and click up here, click distributions. And you see that it hasn't been added. Uh, and this is because you can have a different distribution uh, for each client that you have or different companies that you have and this is why it's set up this way but I'm going to go back click bank transfer and now going to go click Brazil now you see my bank account is here I can click save distribution you need in order to save a distribution you need two factor authentication currently waiting on a text I got it and you can actually speed up this process by downloading the Bitwage app we have a iOS and Android app, uh, and it allows you to just click a, a pop-up on the app to log in. No, no longer needing to wait for SMS. You get protection from the SMS porting hack, and you don't need to type anything. All right, voila! Now we've added the account. You can see it's verified by having these this information right here. Now I've finished adding a distribution. So what's the next step? The next step is adding a contract. So in order to add a contract, you're going to either click under external invoicing and contracts, or you can click this button on the top left that says contracts. I'm clicking the button on the top left. And you'll see that, that I've actually added two contracts. When you first sign up, you add either your employer or your client, which will already be populated, but you can also add additional contracts by clicking add contract. These are all the different currencies that we can actually receive uh, funds in. And if you are a normal user, you get one of these currencies, but if you're a premium user, you get access to all of them. And it's important for you to choose the correct job role because depending on your correct job role, it'll show up either as a direct deposit or as an invoice. So let's go with one of the companies that I've already created 
uh, Bitwage right here. So you can click on Bitwage or, or the details to just edit the details if you want. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the bank account. That's sort of the most important thing. So I'm going to click on direct deposits and you'll see that uh, you can actually get a history of the transactions into into these direct deposits. You can set it up to up to 90 days. To get the bank details, you click get bank details and you're going to put in this information. You're going to choose whatever percent it's, it's going to come in. Some people choose to get 5 or 10 or 50 percent of their wage to us. Other people choose to do 100 uh, percent. This is only for direct deposit. If you're doing an invoice, you get 100 percent through us and it'll only show an amount. But you can show us which system your employer is going to pay you in. This is important because it's going to change the banking details and then you can optionally add your employment contract uh, if you like. And so you can then click this button and it'll, it'll generate uh, a bank account for you and, and some details. And I'm not going to click this button because it's going to be different for each person. But what is interesting is that when you click this button, on the top right you'll, be, you'll see a button that says download as a PDF. And when you click that, you'll get something like this that comes up, right? And it'll show a direct deposit or it'll show an invoice if you're doing an invoice, uh, which is nice because you can create multiple invoices uh, on the platform and keep track of uh, the invoices that you've been sending out uh, and have received directly on our platform. But here's the direct deposit. You'll see right here, there would typically be an account and routing number. It's redacted on this version right here. And uh, you get even a voided check that you can provide to your employer or client, as often employers or clients feel more comfortable having a voided check to be able to take the banking details and pay into from there. Uh, usually it's because they're just afraid that maybe you made a mistake if you were to just email uh, and type the, the details to them. So once you've done that, you are all set up. Uh, and you, all you got to do is just wait for your wage to come in. If you want, you can go and you can sign up for premium where you get a, su a support pin, you get access to premium support, you get access to a special support channel on our Slack, uh, and you get same day fulfillment of payrolls instead of next day, which is uh, a pretty big uh, value add for a lot of users. In addition to sort of all these, these other um, all these other features. Now, the interesting thing is that all the magic actually happens in the back end, right? The way that we are able to deliver the funds faster and cheaper into your bank accounts abroad. It's all happening in the back end. All the magic is happening when the funds hit the account and we deliver the funds into your bank account or however else you decide to receive your wages. And the interesting thing is You'll go, you can go and click the rates and see what the rates are. Um, these are, are, are essentially approximations on, on what we can get at any particular moment. And if you were to receive a wage in Brazil right now, for $1,000 coming in, we'd pay out 3,390 Brazilian real, which is much better than banks and PayPal, and even better than the mid-market rate. So thanks for checking out this tutorial. Um, looking forward to working with you in the future.